I see dead people. <laughs> Only your brother. <laughs> Watch with us, maybe. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are watching Umbrella Academy episode two. Just. Huh. Well, yeah. What did you think, Julie? I liked it. Oh, I gosh. am enjoying this show. I am enjoying this show. What would you give it? What would you give it? I would give it a seven. Why are you? I feel like you're stagnant on seven. Because I actually thought last episode was better than this episode, but I gave it a seven. Uh-huh. So I can't go higher, but I definitely don't want to go lower. So what would you really give the last episode? Are you still give it a seven? Yes. Okay, that doesn't make sense. I understand, but it is where I'm at. Huh. I really liked this episode. I thought it was really fun. No, I need to give it a higher rating. You thought it was fun. This episode? Uh Uh-huh. That's what you want to go with to describe it? Listen. Fun? I think it was fun as a viewer Mm -hmm. to find out all the information we got to find out. And And all the time travel. Yeah, it was all horrifying stuff. (laughs) But, well, the scene... In the the department store was fun. Yeah. And, was, and sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you spent 30 years with a doll. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think that kid is the best part of the show. No, he definitely is. And I also think he's the main character. Like, all of the scenes are him. Or him, yeah. like, running through somewhere. Or... He's definitely... But I also think all the characters are really fun. They're all pretty developed. They have their own thing going on. Yeah, they they. I feel like each one could have their own story, and I think they do. No. Okay. <laughs> Don't. What did you think? What would you give this episode? I would give this. Hmm. Hmm. I think the first one better. A seven. Okay. So, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you think it was fun? Okay. <laughs> it was stupidy duper fun. Yeah. I thought it was fun. It was. I really like the part when number, um, what is the name? It's the guy that could see the dead. Mm. And talk to the dead. Yeah, I don't remember his number or his name, but I know mm. who you're talking about. When him and yeah. number five mm-hmm. went to. Yeah, that was good. That was good. He was like. You're gonna pay me the money, and he was like, "This is the my best." And he looked like a clown. Yeah, that was good. The part where he smashed the snow globe on his face. Oh my god, that gosh. was good. And then nobody. Where does that side? Where does that implant come in? And then he saw all of his siblings dead. I felt like the implant was in that in the doll, though. No, because it was because uh, they already had it before it was manufactured, but then. It, Obviously, number five saw it in the future. So that's why he brought it to the manufacturer. Yeah, he brought it back. Mm-hmm. But he, he in the future, we saw him pick it up out of someone's hand. Oh, it was out of number one's hand. Yeah. I'm happy I don't know any of these people. Do you know what? Actually, this makes perfect sense. I'm horrible with names. But you can number them. I can number them. Do you have a number for me? Number one. I was like... Gonna be mad, but I couldn't be mad at that. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> 5,671. Mm. What was your favorite part of this episode? Hmm. My favorite part? Yeah. Or what was the most intriguing thing you learned? I feel like we got a lot of information. I feel like... Do you like this bow I put on here? I do. Thank you. I'm going tie it all the way down. No. Um... <laughs> That the most intriguing thing I learned. Tell me, what intrigued you? Hmm. Yes. I feel like what intrigued me the most. No, I know that's not. No. Were you intrigued at all? I don't think I was intrigued as you. I feel I like I was how. more intrigued in the first episode. Oh well, yeah, me too. I agree, but I think there were still things that definitely intrigued me in this episode. Like I, I think can like I gesture more with this hand? 
Are you trying to say something? With my hand gesture? Uh-huh. Are you trying to I don't, say I honestly, something? I don't know. But I, just, I will, Actually, the most intriguing part is the eyeball at the end of the episode. Really? I think, because that connects. Because he's... That is... Uh, yeah. He knows where, like, the eyeball ends up at the very end. Right. But he doesn't know where it begins. But he knows that it's in this guy's hand his brother's hand and it goes from there so i'm intrigued about that i'm intrigued about what allison number three saw on the video yeah me too um cliffhanger cliffhanger and i'm also intrigued why that woman didn't die in the department store yeah he like murdered someone and they were just like Whoop. unless he oh no because in the beginning of the episode that those people are one and the same they have powers because remember they made the comment that we usually don't go after our own people. Yeah, but I thought that just meant because he used to work for them. Well, maybe the street, they have powers. That could be. I didn't think about that. Because they kept calling him number five, and obviously he used to work for them mm -hmm. in the future. Which I'm very intrigued by, and obviously they're from the future. Mm -hmm. So... how they get back there? How did they travel... I thought he was the only person alive. Obviously, that's not true, even though he was dealing with a doll. I don't know. I'm super interested. Mm -hmm. okay, that is the most that. intriguing bit, I think. And also the fact that they need to have the case to travel forward and backwards. And the they, case. Um, the case that he put in the wall at the motel. Hmm. Yeah. Was I make gifts during popcorn at this point? I don't think so. Maybe, though. But he has a, they have a case that they're required to mm -hmm. carry with them. And he was like, I'm not doing it. It's so heavy. And he put it in the wall. Mm -hmm. And obviously someone's going to steal the case and yeah. travel around with it. Um, very yeah. interesting. And I also like that they're all coming back to the house. They're obviously yeah. all going to be there again. I do you like I mentioned I, how much I love Will Smith. Uh, well, who doesn't? And I love He's the, like my favorite actor. I love Will Smith. I, I love was like Carlton literally James. obsessed with him throughout my whole elementary school and like high school career elementary through middle school through high school i love you will smith okay who was your favorite aunt viv controversial the original me too i mean yeah yeah you just yeah that's real that's mm -hmm. real talk mm -hmm. sorry um new aunt viv but you're not so new anymore sorry new old aunt viv new old aunt viv <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? What's going to happen next? What's going to happen? Well, I think um, number five is going to need to really explore why he can't even travel through space. Yeah, what's going on with I him? I really thought it was probably only a time thing. You know, I think it's an emotional thing. It could. Because, like, his girlfriend, his dog girlfriend, his partner got shot up. Mm -hmm. And when he lost his family and ended up in the apocalypse in the future, mm -hmm. that's got to be jarring. Yeah. I mean, I can't say from experience, but I would assume. Yeah. It has to be. Same with the dog girlfriend. Yeah. I don't have that experience. I know with the you, dog girlfriend? I know that you did, so if you could with tell the us about it. <laughs> that would be really great. <laughs> well, Julie, way to put me on the spot. I don't have a dog girlfriend. Not boyfriend. anymore, but remember when they got shot up in that department store? This is very applicable. <laughs> Could you not share your information with us? Julie, I think you're confusing me with you. What? Yeah, you tend to do that sometimes. What? Memento? Who? Okay, anyway. Um, um, oh, what do you think is going to happen next? Yes. Um, I... Are you in the next episode? I'm in the next episode. I would die! I'd be like, when did you shoot this? And why was I there? You were asleep! I couldn't wake you! Okay, that's fair. I do love to sleep. Um, getting an important... Getting an amount of sleep you need is, like... Super important. The way to live a happy, healthy lifestyle. Yeah. And not be grumpy. I am my happiest when I've had enough sleep. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's less sleep and sometimes it's more sleep it just depends on how good you sleep oh yeah and how tired you are when you mm -hmm. go to sleep i'm excited to sleep in my own bed i think mm. it's because she's been sleeping on the couch i don't know why yeah julie kicked me out of my room <laughs> <laughs> no she went she went home for a while yeah. um what are things that happen next losing what? the train of thought okay so it left on what allison saw number three yes 
So it's going to probably go in straight into that. It saw something it with better. a dad. I don't know what um, They're gonna show number Diego one doing something. Number one was right about. Like he was right about Diego doing something. Well, he has the, the monocle. So I know. Did something. But also Diego has an alibi. He was fighting that night. I want to know what happens with Ben. I want to know that now. I don't think that's going to happen next episode. I hope it does. I hope it does, but I don't think it will. I'm excited for the episode, which I'm hoping will happen, but it could not happen. Mm -hmm. That's entirely in the past. Oh, that I hope so. It's like the day they all left the house and that one guy decided to stay. Yeah. That's what I would like to see. Probably the very last episode. Huh? I don't know. Maybe the last episode. Or maybe they'll all go to the future or some shit. I don't think the future. I feel like the future is kind of, we know what's going to happen in the future. Well, the world's going to end. But they're trying to stop it. I don't feel like there's any sense of urgency at this point. The urgency is real. There's no sense of urgency. Now they're at day. Yeah. He keeps telling everyone the world's going to end in three days. And they're all like, okay, but like, can we talk about it tomorrow? (laughs) It's like, what? I have lesson plans. It did seem very strange that they're like setting up this love interest for Ellen Page because it's like, is that what we're focusing on right now? Is it not the end of the world? Is it, it, is it, it this it, beautiful it, violin lesson? Which, yes, was a very nice scene, but it just seemed I, kind of out of place. I, yeah, it kind of did. I wonder if it's like, what if she's just falling in love while the world is ending? I mean, there is something very beautiful, beautiful about that. And her, like, relating to other people. I understand it's big character progress. Or she should be turned into a woodworker. Could I do last this seven more? Days. Can you, can you do this again? Does your hand look like a dead I think fish? Ellen is going to, number seven, is going to turn and, like, I Ella. think she's, she's going to develop her superpowers. I powers. agree. And it'll be like she make everyone love her. Mm-hmm. Actually, Ellen, you look really cute in the in, in this show. I'm so happy for yes, her. She, she's you nice. also look like my really good friend, but not Asian. Her name is Keeks. Not her name isn't Keeks. Her name is Kendall. Oh. Kendall McKeel. <laughs> okay, wow. That would just call that girl out. But anyway. And Keeks, if you're not watching, this going to be super upset. But she looks so much like you in, like, in a very not Asian sense. It's so cute. I'm really happy for <laughs> Alan Page. You know, I think he's a really... I haven't seen her in a while. Well, I think... I don't know. I think she's been in some stuff. Probably what I haven't watched. Yeah. I haven't seen her in something. In you haven't seen her in something in a while. But I've seen her, at, like, publicly. She's been talking a lot about um, rights activism and stuff. Okay. She came out um, a couple years ago, right? I don't even know. Oh, she came out. And then she got married, I think. Huh. Which is really nice. That is really nice. We're happy for you. Yeah, congratulations! Congrats! That was really nice. It was. I'm ready for Ben and Ted. Okay. Well, Ellen, now that we've congratulated you on your wedding that you probably had, like, years ago. (laughs) And we're like, by the time you see this, it's probably going to be a while from now, so it's going to be really, really... I'm really excited to see more of her work, though. I really really like her work. Me too. Such an interesting tone, which I enjoy. Yeah, I think she really is very natural. I like that. Me too. Can't find that too often. No. 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 With me and Julie, that we were the only ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so did you say what you think is going to happen? I thought I did with um, Ellen getting powers. Oh yeah. And I'm ho- I'm hoping, and everybody that's watching this is probably a little confused because I'm referring people with numbers. <laughs> I only know Your Allison by name. And there's only people with their real, real names. names. Yeah. So, That's but confusing. there's only one person I know by their character name. But I always say number three with her name. You say Allison, number, number three. three. <laughs> because then I, that's the only one I know, but they're his. Whatever. Number five. I don't know his name. Do you know his name? Time Traveler. No. And but Ben. We know the deceased name, number six. We know Ben. We don't, we've only seen him like. For like a whole like, but he's a scene stealer. That's true. He is. Oh, and then Diego, number four. Diego, he's number four, right? I don't know what number he is. You just keep saying numbers, and I keep thinking number one is the monster guy, the big guy, right? Or was Ben the monster guy? 
I think it was Ben. Ben was the monster guy. So then why is he so bulky, that guy? I don't know. Maybe because his diaphragm has to be really big and he doesn't need an air tank? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't need air to breathe. I don't know. I will find out. So who's number two? I don't know, but we, have to all we can, yeah, we'll figure it out for the next one. And also, what do I think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Thank you next? for asking. I think, <laughs> I'm just so tired. I think number five is going to tell them about this organization that he's part of. What organization is he a part of? Whatever organization is coming after him. Oh, okay. So that they, because I think they're all in danger. Mm-hmm. Probably. Maybe that's why the world's going to end. I said, maybe that's why the world's going to end. Right, but, like, why? Why? Yeah. I don't know. That's what we're trying to figure no, out. No, you just said maybe that's why the world's going to end. But, like, what are you referring to? Oh, the the organization. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> I was just like, this is totally who's on first. Okay, anyway, so, yeah, I want to find out more about the organization. I think we'll find out more. Get a little exposition, maybe. And... I also think we'll find out what's on the tape. I'm really hoping. And I guess that will probably lead them on a journey to like find Diego and do whatever. Don't they already know where Diego is? Yeah, but he's probably on the move. Oh. I'm guessing. I thought you said the moon for a second, but now I understand. Yeah, he's on the moon. But like, you know what? It's I was not like, no, that... no, no, that's number one. <laughs> but you know what? Honestly, it's really not that crazy because that one guy is on the moon, so. It's yeah. True. Anyway, I'm really excited about the series. Are you excited? I'm, I'm excited. I, I actually series. really enjoy this. I think we're going to blow through it. Yeah, I, we haven't blown through a series in a while. We haven't, like, legit binged one in, like, a while. Yeah, that's for sure. It's okay. been a while. I think we're going to do it. We'll do it. All right, we love you so much. We thank you. And we will see you in the next tomorrow. 50. Oh, 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 oh. Mm-hmm. We hate you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.